Hello friends, welcome back to industry learning and uh, today in this session basically I'm going to talk about the steps that involve in press tool design. So uh, basically we will see all the steps one by one and uh, in further sessions and all we will uh, see the complete description with uh, all the examples uh, as well as uh, with the help of calculations and all and uh, at the last finally we will design this in X software as well so if you see uh, the first step that has been involved in press tool design that is a uh, determination of force basically uh, we call this uh, press tonnage also that is uh, how much force required in a press uh, operations so this is basically the first step so here we what we do basically we determine the force basically uh, we can say that how much uh, cutting force is there, how much uh, bending force is there, cropping uh, as well as piercing. So all these uh, operations involve a force uh, that basically we provide using the RAM uh, of a press tool. And uh, if you talk about the uh, power that uh, been generated here, so we can say that is basically from uh, the source of like hydraulic uh, force uh, as well as pneumatic force mechanical force so based upon that types of power press if you want to see the types of power press you can see here on i button and you can uh, see this uh, further in details and all so let's move back and uh, let's go to the next step that is involved in press tool operation and that is basically selection of press for uh, requisite forces or uh, workpiece size and shape so basically what uh, we require here based upon our calculation of forces like how much a ton is uh, press we require so uh, after then basically we select a press depends upon of the ability suppose uh, uh, the calculation uh, says that we required uh, 37.8 is so uh, it's not like that uh, exact figure of uh, 37.8 tonnage of power fresh we have so we will just uh, uh, get some higher and that might be in round figure as usually it should be so that might be a uh, power press of 40 40 ton so we can use this uh, press in that and we can assign up that this press tool can run near about 40 ton in that and all if we have 40 ton presses 39 ton presses 41 ton presses like that this in, in that and all this can run so this is all about the selection of press for requisite forces now if i talk about the third one that is a determination of shut height of a tool this also have one of the most and significant role while uh, designing a press tool so uh, what we do here is basically like uh, we determine uh, that how much shut height we should have of a press tool that we are going to design and how we will design this so for that basically uh, the like two things have to be considered first one that uh, the availability of press machine that you have so how much uh, shut height uh, that press allows you and the second one depends upon your uh, component like how much bending and all uh, how much deep drawings uh, this and all has to be uh, done in that so depends upon that the first one uh, basically we have to take depends for your component itself after then you can go for a press so these two things has to be considered while uh, determine a sort height of a press tool now if i talk about the fourth one then that is uh, computing die thickness and margins just alternatively we can say minimum cross section so what is about computing die thickness basically uh, if we talk uh, about a press tool then we can see that a lot of parts uh, that has been involved in a press tool uh, that might be top plate bottom plate stripper plate die plate punch uh, punch back stripper die back like this and all if you want to see the elements of press tool you can see here on i button and you can uh, check all the uh, elements or all the parts what are involved in the press tool i have uh, tried that in details to explain so 
come back here and uh, if we talk uh, about the computing die thickness means uh, suppose uh, we have uh, the plates and all like uh, all the plates uh, thickness and all uh, we calculate what does that means is basically we calculate the shear uh, force or strength of that plate means uh, when while uh, cutting or while bending or while forming like when the punch will exert a force on the plate it might be on die plate or and the further force will be exerted on die back plate so in that cases and all what happens uh, that it experience some sort of shear forces and that tends that uh, plate might get bending so how much that bending or deflection allowed or or it's possible using uh, that uh, force that we have taken into consideration that things and all we used to calculate here that uh, calculation method and all we will see in next session and uh, if i talk about the margins and all and how much maximum material margin and all we should keep uh, that is a different thing so uh, this was uh, the fourth one and now if i talk about the fifth uh, steps uh, that is basically drawing strip layout and comparing material utilization so here we uh, designed a strip layout so strip layout in the sense if we have uh, like uh, a progressive tool uh, so in that things and all uh, we are just going to feed the seat in one direction and the uh, operation that cutting topping punching uh, notching piercing bending each and every operations are going to be done in that uh, one by one so even you can see this also uh, by using this i button uh, uh, this uh, i button i have already uh, shared this also earlier in my earlier video you can see all these things all the operations here so uh, here if i talk about uh, the strip layout then finally we uh, are going to design a strip layout and that's that is basically uh, the base of a press tool or a progressive tool if i talk so we are going to see these also in detail how we will design a strip layout uh, like and further how can we design die base for that so this is one of the most important aspect now if you talk about the sixth one that is uh, design of locating elements so here uh, like you know that we used to locate this using pilot point channel so these things and all we are going to design here uh, that how much dia it should have uh, some uh, so that uh, it can accurately guide depends upon that our accuracy of the product uh, uh, and uh, if i talk about the that uh, tolerance uh, that you should know that uh, if you are using some location method uh, like pilot method in that also you should have some sort of uh, tolerance so that uh, your strip should go uh, freely in that so how much tolerance you should implement there and regard uh, with respect to that how much tolerance you should keep uh, in that uh, seat that has been manufactured or that going to manufacture so that is considered here if i talk about the next one that is selection of uh, hardware that, and this is all about the selection of standard parts and uh, if i talk about the it's one then that drawing die plane and selection of pillar die set so here uh, basically we uh, draw a die plane that in which plane basically these uh, operations and all have to be done Bec uh, because until we select a plane we cannot uh, decide the bending operations and all so uh, these things and all has been has to be decided here and selection of pillar and die set that definitely it should be perpendicular to the die plane now if i talk about the last one that is deciding punch length and mounting so how much punch length should be there and how that punch should be mounted in a punch holding plate and here also like uh, you should know that uh, anyway this is the thing that we are going to see in uh, next session and all that how we are going to design but if i talk about the punches means uh, you can you should know that they are basically or you might be knowing that basically two types of punches there that is uh, the first one that is segregated punch and the second one that is integrated punch so what is this segregated punch that you might be knowing that is uh, here uh, the punch uh, that has to be uh, like uh, separated uh, or located through some sort of uh, uh, volt screws and all 
but if i talk about the integrated and that is a complete set like there uh, has not that has not been located by some uh, punch holding plate and uh, punch back plate no it's so integrated directly it can it can be uh, like bolted by the top plate and so how uh, what is the structure how this is formed so that also you can see here using the i button i have tried to explain that in detail so if you uh, liked our session or this video and if you want if you want to further uh, see the next informative video uh, related to these uh, press tools molding machining and don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit like this video that's all thank you